So today I will tell you how to detect the labels or objects using Amazon recognition. So you can see this is the UI I have created. So uh, I'll just tell you how this UI will work. So then I'll explain the code. Okay. Uh, so here you can see uh, first of all you need to upload an image. So I'll just upload an image. So if I click on upload, the image will be uploaded. So I have uploaded this image. So Amazon recognition can detect a multiple objects. So in this image you can see a uh, bike, person, and car, and there are multiple things. So if you, if you see the Amazon recognition, uh, it can detect you know uh, two types of uh, labels, like say for classification labels and uh, another one is bounding box labels. So uh, this is a bounding box labels. So in bounding box labels, it can detect uh, 239 uh, labels actually, uh, which means you know uh, 239 uh, labels it can draw the bounding boxes. And another one is classification labels. Uh, it is around uh, 2000. Uh, 580 uh, labels just retake the labels with the confidence uh, i mean uh, the accuracy uh, but it, it will not be able to you know draw the uh, uh, bounding boxes so here uh, this is about the labels uh, there are uh, this much labels it can detect so i have told like uh, initially it will be a five so you can change this and how many uh, in this image i want to detect the five uh, labels so i just uh, put it as five so i just click on detect label so and it, it is also you know depend on the internet speed so it will uh, hit the AWS server and uh, it will get the JSON response and that JSON response will uh, show the results. So you can see uh, it has been shown uh, see four objects person, motorcycle, helmet, car. So for these four objects it can detect a, uh, you know it can draw the boundary boxes and I think there is a five objects. So if you can see the result over here name motorcycle and it is showing the confidence score as well. Uh, car for car also it is showing and the person yeah. And uh, in the last, you can see the tarmac. It is uh, saying that in the in the image there is a tarmac, but uh, it is uh, it don't have the boundary boxes to draw it because uh, it's a classification label. It comes under the classification label, so uh, there is no uh, you know bounding boxes. So basically, uh, when the uh, when we make the request, we got the response like JSON response. So with the help of this JSON response, uh, we we need to like uh, we need to show this result. So uh, with this JSON result. So I'm just showing this um, UI over here, uh, result. So you can see uh, maximum label five. So you can change these values and you can uh, detect labels. So you can change the image as well. So this is about the UI. So this is the folder structure. Here you can see uh, there is a credential file. So if you can see, I have uploaded this code in the GitHub. You can uh, access this code and you can run the uh, code as well. And uh, for that, actually you need a AWS credential. So without AWS credential, you cannot run this code. Uh, so to create that uh, item, uh, AWS credential, so you need to go to the AWS console. So basically, you need to create this AWS account. Once you create that account, so there is an IAM. You can search in uh, search bar as well. So if you search that IAM, so where you need to create a user. So I'll just I I already have a uh, user for uh, for you. I'll just show you how you can create a user. So in this page, you can see. There is a user button over here. If you click on that, it will open this screen. So I already have the user one. So I was using this. So you need to create your own uh, user. So here you need to click add user. So once you click on that, it will ask you to enter username. So you need to uh, give any name, like say user two, sorry, user two. So and then you need to give the programmatic access. And then you need to click on next permission. So here you need to attach the existing policy. This is very important. So if you are not adding the existing uh, policy, then you are, will not be able to access. So you need to add that add that policy which you want to access. So in this case, we want Amazon recognition. Recognition. So you can see uh, this is a Amazon recognition full access. This policy we need to add. So after adding that policy, uh, you can add the tag tag as well. It's an optional, so don't need to add this. So if I click on this, uh, now the uh, Amazon recognition full access policy is added to our user. So now I can create the user. So now I have created a user. So it will provide us a downloads option for CSV. So with the help of this CSV file, I mean uh, we need to place this uh, CSV file uh, in this folder. So if you download my uh, GitHub repository, so you need to place inside that like this new user credential.csv. Once you place your uh, credential, then you can run the app.ty. So you need to install these libraries first, and then you can run this app.ty. This is about the code. Then you will get this particular UI. You can try with any other images, and uh, you can try with the maximum labels uh, like how you want. This is about the Amazon uh, recognition, like how to detect labels using Amazon recognition. Thank you.